Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create a 2D rotating and moving obstacle that you can use in your game. With that being said, let's get started. So this is our basic scene. I have three game objects. The first one is a ground. It has nothing. Then I have obstacle one and obstacle two. I have simply copied all the things for obstacle one and that's how I have obstacle two. Now under obstacle one, we have multiple child game objects. The first one is the obstacle, which also contains one script machine or graph. We'll be talking about graph in a bit. Inside our obstacle game object, I have the saw blade three PNG image. Now for pause one and pause two, these are the positions until which our obstacle will be moving to and fro. This is similar to what we have done in our moving platform video. If you want to check that out, I'll add the link at the top of this video. Then for obstacle two, there's just one change. We have changed the pause one and pause to game object curl. Now let's check machine or script graph for this pretty straightforward and simple so in the on start event node we are simply setting the next positions value which is a vector 3 variable with the position values of our pause 1 in which contains the transform of our pause 1 variable for the obstacle 1 game object after this under the on update event node we are simply setting the rotation by using this particular node which is nothing but this one this transform rotate dulas this one which takes three parameters those are the x y and z components of our vector 3 variable and what we are doing we have created one variable called as rotating heat and we are simply passing this variable's value in the z component of our vector 3. What will happen? Our obstacle will be moving in the z, z axis with this particular angle. After this, we are simply setting our obstacle's next position. This way, we are where we are simply checking whether the obstacle's current position is equal to pause 1 position if this is true that means our obstacle has reached our position one if that is true we are simply setting our next position value with the position two's position this else we are checking if our current obstacles position is equal to that of the position two's position that means our obstacle has reached the position two if that is true then we are simply setting the next position value with whatever we have the position one variable that's it go back after this what we are doing we are simply moving our obstacle to the next position here we are simply setting the current obstacles position this manner where we have used one vector three move towards node which takes three parameters the first one is the current game object which we want to move then we the target location or the target position where we want to reach so here we are sending or setting uh, the value as the next pause value and then the third one we are simply setting the multiplication factor of our movement speed variable and uh, time dot delta time that's it now let's run the game see constantly moving to position one then position two the same for this obstacle 